Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So one of my most frequently asked questions in my comment section and in my DMs is where do I find brands to work with? How do you discover new brands? How do you find email addresses? And just like, where do you find these opportunities? So in today's video, I'm going to be listing some of the websites, apps, and platforms that I use to find brands and agencies to work with in the UGC world and even in the micro influencing world. So if you're just into content creation and you're just trying to find opportunities, then this is the video for you. And side note, I will be linking these websites down in the description below. So if you're interested in checking out any of these sites, go ahead and go in the description below. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. The first category is just overall review websites. And one of my favorite review type websites is called Thing Testing. Shout out to TikTok for this one. So Think Testing is your go-to place to research and review online brands. So they have a lot of startups, up and coming and newly popular brands from niches, from accessories to pets to you know clothing and drinks. For us content creators, these are perfect to find new brands and to overall find their website and contact info to reach out to. I'm gonna put my coffee down for this one. It is coffee time for me, but we're gonna put it down for a second. Now, I've done a video before of how to reach out to brands via email and DM. I will put that up in the card so you can get a detailed explanation of like how to reach out and what to say, etc. etc. So the cool thing about Think Testing is you can actually sign up on their platform and you can actually review featured brands. So this is great because you can go on a website like Away. Away has high quality travel bags and luggage that they sell. There's actually real people reviewing this entire brand. If you're actually really passionate about a brand that you like, maybe go on Think Testing, submit a few reviews. And the cool thing is if you submit more than 10 reviews, every Friday I wanna say, they feature a brand and a product and you will get major flash deals with it. I've seen on TikTok, there was like this like $30 sunscreen that was on sale for $5 only for thing testing members. So that's just like a cool bonus perk. And speaking of discovering new brands, another website that I like is cpgd.xyz. So this means consumer packaged goods directory. Now the thing I love about CPGD is they have a directory of not only brands, but agencies. Now this is key for us content creators because it's awesome to be working with agencies on a consistent basis or on a contract basis to create content for their clients. So if you go on to the agency's directory, you can see all of these different agencies and see what kind of services they specialize in. So for example, Fuzzco does brand design, illustration, merchandise, etc., etc. Platform 88 does industrial design and merchandise. So you can click through all of these different agencies and I've actually seen a few on here that specialize with content creation and video production. Those are the kind of agencies you want to look out for. And again, they have a direct link to the website so you can easily contact them. Now this next one is not necessarily a website, it's more of an email newsletter and I've actually found this through Twitter. So if you're active on Twitter, you're very familiar with Collab Hub. They're always posting on Twitter, looking for new creators or looking for brands. They have an email newsletter service where every week or every two weeks they'll send out an email of a few brands that are looking for UGC creators and direct emails to reach out to. Now the cool thing about this is most of the time it's not like a contact at loopsbeauty.com. It's more of like a name at loopsbeauty.com which is so useful because you don't wanna just be using the PR email and trying to jump through all these hoops to talk to the right person. So the fact that Collab Hub has some connections I would say that have those direct contact emails key. So again, I have just recently started using them and I've actually used a couple of the emails. I will definitely let you guys know in future vlogs how those work out. So speaking of Twitter, that is the next platform that I highly recommend jumping on, posting your content, interacting with that community. The UGC community is quite large, but it's very strong. There are a lot of UGC creators to connect with, which is amazing for additional resources or for support, but there's also hubs on there where they specifically connect brands and influencers together. So I highly recommend following some legitimate hubs on there. Just a little note, if they're telling you to follow and retweet for new opportunities, just don't 
because it's most likely they're just trying to get followers to be honest which is sad because there's so many of them out there and there's also so many legitimate ones so it kind of ruins it for everyone so just be very alert when you're on twitter maybe dm them for more additional info and if they get back to you then that is a pretty good sign but overall the key takeaway that i have from twitter is if you are active if you're constantly posting content if you're interacting with your community and just the ugc community in general you're gonna get a lot of out bound requests and I gotta be honest that's something I need to work on Twitter is just not like my main platform so I always struggle to like figure out what to tweet out and just overall stay active on it so for me that's something that I gotta hear and that I gotta practice now the next platform is Instagram so for discovering new brands what I'll do is I'll go to just a random beauty company's Instagram I'll hit that little arrow on the side and that's gonna share some related accounts. Now I'm gonna go and scroll through those accounts and I'm gonna click on one that I like and I'll keep doing the related and scrolling until I get to a smaller business account because what I've noticed is smaller businesses tend to respond more and interact more with your page. So if I find an account that I'm interested in working with and I will just like a few photos, maybe comment, respond to some stories, maybe even follow them, and they'll most likely see my page and do the same thing. And that'll kind of create some interest and some conversation in the DMs, which will hopefully convert to a UGC deal. So that's just a little fun hack. It's also a great way to discover new brands if you just keep hitting related accounts and just seeing some new brands, maybe go on the website and find an email and reach out to them through there. But for me, that's a great way to find a genuine connection with the brand. Okay, the last social media app is TikTok. Now, TikTok, that's like where all the UGC creators live, breathe, and post their content. But when you're scrolling on TikTok, you're most likely going to see a TikTok ad created by a UGC creator. So whenever I see an ad, I'm like, oh, this is definitely UGC. Maybe even it's a brand I'm super interested in. I will actually save that ad into a favorites folder. And I'll just keep doing that until I see more ads and more sponsored posts come through my For You page. And eventually my ads will be curated with user generated content, maybe a specific niche, maybe a specific style of ad. And I'll definitely discover more brands that way. Also, if they're posting ads, they're probably still looking for UGC creators to do future projects with. Now, bonus points, if they're already running ads with UGC, that means they're probably familiar with the content creation side, and that means they're probably open to more projects in the future. So just another great way of discovering a new brand to work with, maybe not right now, but maybe in the future. Another thing I like about TikTok is the TikTok Creative Center. You can actually see the top ads on TikTok, depending on where you live or what kind of demographic you are trying to reach. So maybe you're reaching people in Canada instead of the United States. Maybe in France, you can see the top ads that are trending there, as well as hashtags, audios, and creators, and just overall video trends. So that's really cool, uh, especially for finding content ideas too. If you have a project where you're creating a paid ad for a brand, you can go on the TikTok Creative Center and find a specific niche, maybe the beauty niche, and see what kind of ads are top performing there. The other cool thing is you can click on an ad and see their analytics from the likes, the shares, comments, and even the watch time. So you can actually see when people drop off and then you can watch that video and kind of figure out why they dropped off. I have found that to be really helpful. Okay, so now that we're done with social media, let's talk a little bit more about the platforms and apps. So another one I wanna shout out, I've actually gotten this from Twitter and it is the Amazon small business section. So there's a lot of small businesses on Amazon on from home and kitchen to groceries to electronics. I will put a direct link down below of what I'm talking about and you just click on these different niches and you can find products and brands on Amazon. Now the cool thing about finding businesses on Amazon is they might not want social media posts. They might want a review or they might want a video demo of their product to be on their product page. So a lot of times people will do this when they're just starting out on Amazon or if it's a new product and there's not a lot of reviews because the more reviews that you have on a product, the more it's gonna be popping up in search results. So a lot of people want honest reviews in exchange for product. You get free product, they get a review, done deal. But 
But also if it is a new product, maybe they want a video demo of how to actually use the product or maybe photos for the product page. So that's just another way that you can create content for brands and you don't necessarily have to do videos or TikTok content or product photos for their social media. So for those kind of projects, you can just go on Amazon Business and just scroll through all of the different niches and reach out to them through the stores. Okay, so for my European-based creators, I just discovered this on TikTok. There's actually a platform that connects brands to European content creators, and that is called Dream Influencers. Sometimes it can be hard because there's a lot of US-based brands and they're looking for specifically US-based creators. So highly recommend looking into this platform. I'll link the TikTok down below so you guys can find more information on them through their videos, but it looks like it's a form and you get maybe an email newsletter or you just join a platform and they send you like brands that are looking for creators, but highly recommend checking that out. Okay, so I have two more apps that I wanna share with you. And to be honest, these are like the first two apps that I've ever used to score gifted collabs as a micro influencer. So this is for people who are just getting started in UGC and they want to have product to shoot content for, really good for the portfolio, or if you're just a micro influencer and you're just trying to land some kind of collab to add to your portfolio for that, highly recommend Octoly. They just rebranded to Skeepers, but they have gifted collabs. I'm gonna go on the app and I'm gonna just share a couple brands that I collaborated with through this app. Dry Bar, Avon, Milk Makeup, Sunday Riley, Loops Beauty, Herbivore Botanicals, Beauty Counter, like a lot of like legit brands. And a lot of deliverables is just an exchange for a review on YouTube, Instagram posts, Instagram story, text reviews. I feel like those two are like the best because it's like, just review it and post a photo with it. You're golden. Now, we were talking about review websites earlier at the beginning of this video. Influencer is literally like the first ever app that I've ever used for a free product in exchange for a review or for an Instagram post. Just like Octoly, they have some legitimate brands. I've worked with quite a few brands actually, from Pat McGrath to Drunk Elephant to Neutrogena. Again, a lot of legitimate brands, even Dior. I got a Dior foundation because of influencer, shout out to them. And it was an exchange for a review on their app. So they actually have like pretty much their own social media app on influencer. I have 45 followers and I had no idea. So you can see all of like the real honest reviews that I have for all the products that I received and that I've just like randomly submitted reviews for. I actually go on this app a lot if I'm like looking for beauty products. I'm like, okay, is this actually legitimate? And every week or so they will send you a Voxbox survey so they can actually pair you with the right brands and the right products. Again, I'll link that down below. I believe I might have a referral to that. I don't know what kind of perks I get. And my favorite part is you don't necessarily have to post on social media. In the surveys, you can say I don't feel comfortable posting on social media. So if you don't want to do gifted collabs on your social media accounts for any reason, and you just want to do reviews or text reviews on a website, you could totally sign up and do that. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the websites I mentioned, leave them down in the comments below. Also, if you're a brand or you're an agency that connects brands and creators together, shout yourself out down in the comments below. We have a ton of creators on this community that are always looking for opportunities. So if you're looking for opportunities as well, let's get connected down in the comments. That would be really cool if someone scored a deal because of my YouTube videos. Like, that would be really cool. Also, if you wanna work with me, my portfolio is linked down below. It shows all of my past work and my contact email that you can reach out to me, and maybe we can work out a deal together as well. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.